Hey guys, uh, John here, and just uh, out at the uh, fireplace again tonight, just getting writing my show notes, which you can see getting ready down there and everything. Um, and I thought I'd do a little fireside chat. Uh, I had some people writing me today about, you know, toxic fandom and what is toxic fandom. And I thought I'd take a second just to kind of give my kind of two cents on that about what is toxic fandom and what is not toxic fandom. See, here's the thing. Too many people think that if somebody doesn't like something you like, they're just quick to label that toxic. Like, you're allowed to not like something, right? And, and, and I don't think it's fair to label uh, a critic, reviewer, a fan <clears throat> as being toxic just because they didn't like something you liked and if they expressed that they didn't like it and why they didn't like it, I, I don't think that's toxic at all. I think that's perfectly fine and totally fair discourse to have within the fan community, right? Like I do negative movie reviews. I'll use, you know, the movie, I don't know, what came out before the pandemic, Split. I'll use Split as an example. I hated that movie, right? <clears throat> and I think it's totally fair as me as a fan and as a critic to say I really didn't like the film and here's why I didn't like it. You don't need to agree and that's perfectly fine and that's great if you love it, but for me, I didn't like it. I don't think there's anything talks about that and I think a lot of fans and a lot of outlets just do that, and I don't think it's fair to label them toxic. Where I think something becomes toxic <clears throat> is when it goes beyond liking or not liking something and becomes about apparent obsession with not only trashing on it as much as possible, but also seemingly making it your mission to get other people to not like it as well. Let's just use my example of Split. I hated the movie. And so when I did my review about it, I, I negatively reviewed it. I talked about it as badly. If somebody asked me about it, I'll say I didn't like the film and here's why. But I never went on to make 18 videos about how much Split sucks. I didn't write 28 tweets about how dumb Split is. I didn't make it my mission to try to go out and spread as much discord and spread as much hate for it as possible and try to get other people to hate it too. Like, that's when something kind of becomes toxic or when, you know, you start hunting out. If I started hunting out people who did like, say, Split, and then I started jumping on in their comment sections or on their Twitter feeds saying, no, you're an idiot if you like this movie. This movie's totally suck. How could you possibly like it? Like basically trying to, as Chris Carr would say, yuck on somebody's yum. Once you start purposely going out to try to kill other people's joy, that's toxic. Like that, that's where it's poisonous. That's where it's toxic. When you kill cells and then you try to kill the other cells around that, and you try to kill healthy tissue and spread that death, that becomes toxic. Like, you didn't like Split? Great, okay. Going around and trashing on other people's things who did like Split? Okay, that's kind of pathetic and that's weak. Making 25 videos about how much Split sucks? That's not just saying you don't like something anymore, that's now just plain old being toxic. And by the way, positive feedback to a movie and fans who are positive about something can also become toxic, right? Let's say you love Split, <coughs> which is great. If you love Split, great. I celebrate that. That's awesome. I wish I could have liked it. But it's also toxic if you like love Split, but you start hunting out other people who didn't and start bombing and trolling their comments or their Twitter or whatever and saying, you're an idiot if you didn't like Split, blah, blah, blah. See, liking something can be taken to a degree where it becomes toxic as well. And I think whenever you've got a fandom that goes beyond something, you know, I may not like some things, but I celebrate if other people do because I love that they love something. Anything outside of that gets into unhealthy territory. And I think that's where you get into toxicity. And I think I have fallen into that. I think you've fallen into that. I think we all, all of us as fans fall into toxic behavior from time to time. And I think we need to keep our eye on something. But <clears throat> I mean, I would just encourage all of us as fans, because I've caught myself. I've been guilty of this too. I've caught myself in this. If you, you know, watched a movie and you didn't like it, but then you find like, hey, you know what? This is the 17th Facebook post I've made about this maybe you're getting into some toxic behavior. 
Like maybe now it's not just about you didn't like it because it, everybody who follows you on social media already knows you didn't like it. Now you're just trying to spread the fact that you didn't like it. Now you're just trying to get other people to jump on board or you're trying to, you know, create a camaraderie of hatred around something, I don't know. But anyway, toxic fandom is, is a huge problem, but I think it's unfair to label something as toxic when it's not. Like some people, somebody just giving a review of something they didn't like, perfectly fine. I, I don't think you should label people like that as toxic. And being positive can be toxic if you find yourself trying to attack other people for not liking something that you like uh, at the same time. So, you know me, like, I love Star Wars, right? When somebody comes to you, you know, I didn't like the original Star Wars. I'm like, oh, that sucks. I wish you did, but you didn't, that's okay. You know, I hated, or something I hate about Star Wars, like I hate the prequels. But if somebody comes to me and say they love the prequels, I'm like, hey man, whatever got you on the train, that's good with me, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm not gonna spend my time trying to talk other people not liking it. But, um, and then I'm not gonna make videos anymore. Like when's the last time I made a video, like everybody knows I don't like the prequels, but when's the last time you saw me make a video about the prequels suck? Well, probably been a decade or more or something like that, right? Or how many times you see me make a video about using Split as an example? But anyway, that's my little thought about what is toxic fan behavior, what is not toxic fan behavior, and uh, that's just kind of my take on it. So take that for what you will. This has been a fireside chat with John. Thank you for joining me.